Hello, I'm Nancy Quinn. Oh, I'm so glad you're here for High Noon Tea today. You know, it is cold outside, but as you can tell, I'm just really in the mood for spring. And so I decided to talk to you today about I love lemon tea. And I really do love lemon tea. And it's a Bigelow brand. And it really reminds me of a nice memory. And again, I'm probably showing my age here, but how many of you remember when you used to go to a relative's house, maybe your grandma or, or your aunt, and they had a candy dish with those little hard candies that were in the shape of lemons and they were coated in sugar. They were absolutely my favorite and I used to wait for them. Of course, every time I tried to pick up one, I ended up getting like a whole clump because you know how they tended to stick together. But that just meant you got a few extras, so I never complained about it. Um, but I really do hope that you decide to try the tea and let me know what you think about it. And if you have a tea recommendation, I definitely want to hear about it. My first question is from Anne and she's from Georgia. She said, I read about the chipmunks in your book. How do you keep them out of the feeder? Well, actually, Anne, we don't. We don't keep them out of the feeder. I've tried all those things that you read about in the blogs and, and on the internet. And one time we tried to put a little bit of that oil on the uh, shepherd hook that the feeder hangs from. And they slid down a couple of times and we all thought that was very cute. But then as soon as they managed to get it off of their little hands, they're just right back up there again. And I can't keep them out. In fact, they get into the feeder and they get so full and so stuffed that they get stuck and they can't get out. And then we end up turning it over and just shaking them really hard to see if we can't get them down to the bottom of the tube and have them fall out the end. So I did write a little bit about some of our chipmunk adventures because they're regular visitors here. And yeah, the short answer, I, I can't keep them out. And they can empty almost the entire feeder in one afternoon. And so the birds come to me and complain. And then I keep filling it. But hopefully, everybody gets what they need. So thanks for that question. And let's see. The next question is Cindy. And she's from Texas. Hi, Cindy. She wanted to know, how did you build your home was it through a contractor or did you build it yourself and how long did it take? Well, we actually lived in a small shop that was my husband's while this house was being built here on the mountain. We did have a contractor. However, we also did a lot of the work ourselves. My husband did all of the stonework on the fireplaces and later when we built the studio, we did all of the interior framing ourselves and some of the painting we did here. Uh, I have some beautiful stained glass type of cabinets that I did and I actually hand glazed all of that glass and I was inspired by all of the flowers that grow in the meadow. So I like to do a lot of hands-on kind of work. In fact, I even usually paint a mural on one of my walls. So if I haven't done some stained glass work or painted on the wall, I'm probably not living in that house because I've done it in just about every place that I have lived. And I've lived in homes all over the country. And it does take a while. A house like this took, oh, probably about eight or nine months to complete. So it's a huge investment of time, but, but very worth it because we're quite happy up here. So thanks, Cindy. Now, Jack in Tennessee, he wants to know, how do you keep your horses warm in the winter? Do they wear blankets? Well, a lot of horses do wear blankets, but here in Montana, we have a lot of extreme temperatures 
And so I don't blanket the horses for one reason. And that is that when the weather begins to turn, I do want them to grow a winter coat. And it gets very thick and it really helps to insulate them because one day you can have it fairly warm, maybe in the 50s or 40s, and the next day it can be 20 below zero. So you never know what you're getting here. And if you don't put a blanket on them, they're able to regulate their own temperature. And a lot of the horses around here too are bred for such cold weather. I used to really worry about them when it got cold. And I still do give them some extra feed. We give them a little bit of sweet feed and that helps them have some extra calories to burn to keep themselves warm. But if you've seen any of the videos, in fact, the most recent one I did was horseplay. The horses don't seem to mind the cold at all. It was six below zero when I filmed that one and they were playing in the snow and throwing it around and just having a great time. So unless they're sick or looking particularly unwell for some reason, that would be a time when I would blanket them if they need the extra help. But overall, I don't do it. Um, if I showed them in some type of competitions or horse shows, then yes, you do want to keep a blanket on them because it makes them nice and, and sleek and pretty. But I'm not real concerned about what their coat looks like in the winter as long as it keeps them warm. So thanks, thanks. I appreciate that question too. Well, I think we've about finished for today. And, oh, I wanted to remind you that these beauties are going to be coming up in one of my baking videos that are on the, on the way. So I hope you decide to try the tea. I hope you feel welcome to join me every day. Hopefully you've had a cup in your hand while we've been talking too, because this is one of my favorite times of the day is to sit down and to talk with all of you. So send me your questions. I appreciate them very much. I do answer you individually, and I'm glad when you agree that I can put them in a video and let everyone else hear the answers as well. So we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell next to the subscription button because then you won't miss an issue. It will come directly to your mailbox. So thanks again, everybody. It's been great. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.